This is the second chapter of the course where I'll be discussing some of the competitions and data set related to object detection. I will also be discussing the concept of mean average precision with which we can evaluate how good our model is performing. These are some of the important data sets and competitions in this field. The first one is Pascal VOC that is visual object classes. The second one is COCO common object in context. And this was uh, one of the most popular uh, data sets and uh, competition in this field called ImageNet. In ImageNet, we have around 150,000 images and uh, these images are divided into around 200 classes. When I say classes, I mean the objects like cat, dog, person, etc. But we usually don't use ImageNet for object detection because if we look at some of the samples in ImageNet uh, data set, we will usually have at most one object in each of these images, which is uh, suitable for localization, but not necessarily for object detection. Also, the number of classes in this data set, that is 200 classes, will really complicate the model and it will be difficult to evaluate. So instead, we'll stick to data sets and competitions like Pascal and Coco. In Coco, we have around 330,000 images, which are divided into 80 classes. Pascal is really a small uh, data set compared to Coco, which has just around 10,000 images divided into 20 classes. But this can also be useful wherein you are just starting to build your model and you want to quickly test out how well it is performing. So you can test it out initially on uh, Pascal. Once your model is up to a certain mark, a certain level, you can move on to Coco. As of now, Coco is one of the most important data sets for object detection. Now, what, what are these ROI proposals? What are these 27,000 ROIs and 1.5 million ROIs? As we are already aware, when it comes to object detection, you, have, you can have more than one object in an image. For example, in this image, there are two objects, one person and one bicycle. So similarly, in uh, though we have just 11,000 images, we have several objects in each of these data sets. This is the example of uh, some images in Pascal data set where we have uh, multiple objects in each of these images. For example, there is a kit here, table, some cups, chairs, etc. Similarly, these are some examples in Coco. Coco has a good way to explore the images in its uh, data set, wherein you can uh, just select some thumbnails here out of the 80 classes. You can just select some thumbnails. I selected a person and a dog. And when you hit the search, you will get some images like this, wherein you can just uh, see what all other categories of images are present. For example, this image not only has person and a dog, it also has a bottles, fork, spoon, bowl, chair, etc. So you can just see and play around and if you want to specifically test on any particular object category, you can choose the images accordingly. So how are this uh, actually annotated? Who goes and uh, draws this bounding box for us so that uh, the model can uh, learn from it and further we can use the same thing for testing? Who actually draws all these yellow bounding boxes? It is usually outsourced to services like uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk, which is a crowdsourcing model where volunteers can do all these annotations. So how do they actually draw those uh, boxes? They will be using tools like uh, Label Me, Label MG, etc. If you look at this image, there are uh, three footballers and uh, one football. These are the boxes that we will be using as reference for training our model. That is, these boxes will be considered as ground truth. And it's uh, our model's uh, responsibility or task to propose a box which is as close to this ground truth as possible. You should also observe that these uh, boxes should fit tightly to whatever object uh, there is. That is, uh, if you observe this bounding box, it starts right from the person's head and ends at his feet. Similarly, even at the sides, it starts right from the hand. The other extreme, it ends at his shoes. All these bounding boxes should fit uh, perfectly to the person. That's the summary of the competitions in this field and how we can use the same data sets to train and test our object detection models.